Well, my name is Michael Lazar, and I'm a recovering geophysicist. <laughs> um, the other side of my life, I have a PhD in geophysics and planetary sciences, a uh, half-time position at the University of Haifa where I teach, and that has become my hobby while the art has become my calling. And um, I started out, actually I started out painting, and then I moved into sculpture, which is something that I've always wanted to do. And then this way of working is something that Mark and I have developed over a period of 10 years of working together. So that's, that's me, it's become a calling, whereas my, the other side has become my hobby. Yeah, I originally studied as a surveyor, which I guess nobody, leastways if they're not from the UK or Australia, knows what it is. It's basically uh, a big profession in the UK, and it's halfway between engineering and architecture. And I spent my time designing and constructing buildings. Uh, ever since I was a little child, I wanted to be a sculptor. And I wanted to make sculpture in the sun. And that was specifically my lifetime's vocation. And since I came to Israel about 10, 12 years ago, um, subsequently marrying and having kids and then getting divorced again, um, when I first came here, I realized I needed to find a job. And I didn't really want one because I didn't particularly need one at the time. And I only went for the one interview, and that was uh, looking to teach 15 to 18-year-old kids history. And for some reason, I'm having a lot of trouble leaving that. Now, Michael says that he thinks of art being our main primary uh, job. It surely is, and our biggest source of income and everything else. I uh, guess this will probably be the last year in the school, and quite probably Michael's last year at the university. All right, but if we didn't have those other things to do, we couldn't have spent 10 years developing ourselves to get to this point. So this is us. But the whole deal is, it's all about art. You know, you have an idea, you turn it into a reality. Sculpture is just the media that we express ourselves in more than anything else. But yeah, I, we're artists. Looking at all the work over there, for years all the work we did was in steel. And then we started with bronze and aluminium and stainless steel and... What's it about? Well, I'll show you what it's about. It's about the pleasure of working with these and something about just taking sheets of metal and smacking the hell out of them with a series of hammers to make you know highly defined structural forms you know it's just very real kind of art it's almost visceral it's something different it's something unique it's something that you don't see every day it's a new way of working it's a very physical way of working um, it's also a very aggressive way of working. The strength is part of it. Uh, yeah, it's, some, it's also something we want to show in the sculpture. We want to show the strength of the human form. We want to show the strength of the human body. And it takes a lot of strength to do this as well. והשמירה על הקשר האינטנסיבי עם מייקל ומרק זה גם הטכניקה שלהם שהיא מרתקת, יש בה איזה, איזושהי בשורה חדשה, איזו התייחסות לחומר, ללכת איתו, חומר קשה, הדו-שיח בין הקושי של החומר לגוף, לרקות, לרקמה. ברזל, נחושת, 
לא ראיתי בשנים האחרונות הרבה עבודות פיסול שריגשו אותי ממש. I guess like everybody else, when we started working, we began doing more abstract art. I don't think that it was by any great design that we started with these endless series of bodies. But we did, and there were reasons for it. Independently, we'd both been working on this 10 years ago before we met each other, playing around with human forms, as I'm guessing almost every artist has done at some point or another. And we left it and we did uh, a load of abstract stuff, which has always got a dimension of the figurative in it, I guess. And when we started just working with this heavy sheet metal and banging it out into these forms, you see, this is definitely an evolutionary process. Once you begin to do it, there is no, this is the best it can be. Whatever sculpture you do, you think that maybe one of several other ways could have been could have been better or if not better definitely something you want to try I mean really in the last week just planning out some of the big projects we're going to do this year we've already come up with what four or five different ways of representing least, these as totally uh, different sculptural forms and each one of those will give birth to new ways forward and they've all got to be tried so it's journey, I guess. It's not only that. I mean, the human figure is something that's fascinated artists, I think, always um, throughout history. And uh, this is sort of our modern interpretation of, if you want, classical art, the classical torso, the classical human figure, the powerful human figure that so many other artists have dealt with in the past. And this is our little uh, contribution, if you want. Mm -hmm.